Richmond. Um, I am a interdisciplinary studies major focusing in uh, international relations. And, uh, you know, I'm having, it was my last year and having fun so far. So I uh, keep, uh, you know, we're three and three right now. And hopefully we can, um, hopefully we can, you know, have, have uh, some success uh, in the next five games and make it to the playoffs. I'd say I'm fairly accurate, and uh, you know I know where I know where to go with the ball, and, and that really helps me as far as reading defenses and and uh, and just getting the ball out of my hands and to the to the guys, to the receivers, the playmakers' hands. Uh, yeah, well, sure. Um, I know this summer I spent uh, some time on the James River, which is uh, from Southern California, so it's kind of a replacement for the beach, I suppose. Um, and other than that, Kansas here at Richmond is beautiful. And, uh, I mean, you got, you got the left right in the middle of campus. And you can just come on them. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. And other than that, um, you know, just going to class and practice. Um, well, nothing's guaranteed. Um, you know, I had that kind of experience at, at uh, SC with, uh, um, with, uh, we're starting and then not starting, and then um, and then same thing here. Richmond last year, I uh, I blew up my knee pretty well or pretty good in uh, in the fifth game, and uh, you know, had to work hard to try and get back on the field this year. And uh, you know, so right now I'm just taking everything in stride and taking nothing for granted. Uh, yeah, well, definitely my dad. Um, my dad has always instilled you know hard hard work ethic in me, um, someone I look up to. And then also my high school offensive coordinator, his name is Rod Sherman. Um, he's always taught me the importance of, of watching film and, and, you know, from the cerebral point of the view of the game, not just uh, not just going out there and throwing the ball, but actually becoming, becoming a quarterback and actually thinking through the game. And uh, he's really helped me as far as football-wise and then just through life. Uh, my dad has always been there. Um, well, I'd say just a, a pocket passer, and I'm looking at the ball out of my hands as soon as I can um, to, to guys that can make the plays um, faster guys than me. So uh, whatever that takes, reading defenses and, um, and, and knowing what's going on. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. I guess I try to play the guitar. I'm not very good at it. Um, pretty much, I mean, I like football. I like I like spending a lot of time watching film. Um, I don't really have any uh, secret talents or hobbies or anything like that. Um, I guess I guess my talent is uh, playing quarterback. Um, as far as NFL, yeah, it's definitely a goal of mine, um, and uh, hopefully um, I can position myself uh, this year uh, well enough to be drafted, and then hopefully make a team. And um, and uh, you know, I was still some guys, especially uh, one of my best friends from high school I keep up with. His name is Austin Pettis. He plays receiver for the Rams. He went to Boise. Um, so we actually talked today. And, uh, and you know, as far as uh, following my game after guys, I mean, I wouldn't say I look at, I mean, obviously I, I admire guys like Tom Brady. You know, guys are playing at the highest level and, and they're the, the top performers. Um, I wouldn't say that, that my game is like his or anything like that, but it's some, something I definitely look up to. Yeah, I guess, you know, that I see uh, uh, the Halloween prank that uh, Coach Carroll pulled and um, Will Farrell came in and saved some guy off of, or some, one of the video guys that allegedly fell, but he fell into a, uh, a big old air pad and Will Ferrell came in and allegedly saved him and disguised as Captain Compete. Uh, well, definitely, I mean, I'm just, I'm thrilled to be given an opportunity to play at Athletic like Richmond. Um, kind of a second chance for me and, um, you know, uh, just hopefully we can we can turn this thing around. We're three and three right now, and we got five games left. We have a bye coming up this week, and hopefully regroup and come out strong these next couple of weeks. This is Aaron Corp, and I'm 
honored to be uh, really honored to, to win this award, and I just want to thank all you guys for tuning in.